Well, it's a beautiful day and we're out here on uh, Lake Manitowabing. Uh, we're going to have a look at this uh, cottage. It actually is a very basic cottage. It's quite old. It's been uh, here for a while. And you'll see it's had some additions and it's basically how cottaging was probably 50, 55 years ago. Uh, the property has a lot of frontage. It's very narrow. It's kind of like a little sliver. But the nice thing about that is that it gives you superb privacy. Uh, you can see uh, just behind me here there's a very nice screened porch which is a real essential thing to have uh, at a cottage uh, in Ontario, particularly during black fly season. Uh, we're going to have a look around the property. You'll see that there's, uh, there's an old boathouse that's down by the shore. Uh, the owners have not removed it because you can restore them and keep fixing them. Uh, very difficult to get permits to do that. Uh, again, uh, if you were to try to do it uh, on a vacant piece of land. Uh, there's also a nice large double car garage and a great place to keep all your toys and uh, all kinds of other things. So uh, anyway, let's uh, start our tour of this property and I'm sure that you'll enjoy it. Before we go inside, we'll just have a quick look from the road. You can see that uh, this is a nice township road coming into the property. The cottage does sit fairly close to the road but it is a dead end so there isn't a lot of traffic. You'll see the cottage coming into view here. Looks like the roof has been recently done. And of course uh, it is built very close to the water. Very difficult to do nowadays with the current setbacks but this one is okay and you can continue to use it. There is the boathouse down by the shore that I mentioned earlier. and that nice large double car garage. We're just going to have another look at the shoreline. You can see that uh, nicely treed and we've got these uh, very good docks and of course it's the end of the season so the cottage has been put to bed for winter and uh, lots of docking, lots of great places to spend time and enjoy the outdoors cottage coming back into view. This property does have a holding tank rather than a septic. Uh, even though we have a large frontage we do not have a lot of area. We'll just shoot a short video on the inside as you can see it's kind of the old classic style cottage the way cottaging was many years ago. Uh, we have this nice galley style kitchen. Plenty of room, little table there to eat. And a nice living room area, although in the summer most of the time you'd be spending your time out on that nice screened porch. Out on the screened porch now you can see there's those nice walkouts to get out to the yard. And we are perched right on the water. So this is a great place to end your day. Maybe enjoy a beverage of some kind at the end of your cottaging day on Lake Manitowabing. We'll finish our tour on Lake Manitowabing uh, down by the shore. You can see that uh, we do have a very nice view. There aren't too many cottages close by so we do have lots of privacy. Uh, we are facing uh, west. Generally you will get a nice sunset here in the summer and uh, the sun has moved a bit to the south now as we're late in the year. You can see the views are really stunning and lots of open water views. For more information on this property Visit my website at www.soldonperrysound.com and I'd be happy to bring you out here to see this great property on Manitowabing.